Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk is a short visual novel by Russian indie developer Nikita Kraskov that explores the impact mental health can have on completing even the most menial of tasks. The object of the game is simple. Help a girl buy a bag of milk. The game centers around an unnamed protagonist who imagines herself to be a character in a visual novel and you, the player, as the reader. Rather than being a bystander hidden away behind a computer screen, you become a participant in her mission as she interacts with you through her internal dialogue. Like most interactive novels, you progress through the game by making text-based decisions with multiple outcomes available depending on the choices you make. However, the options that are presented are not always helpful, with some even mocking her mental instability. If pushed too far, she'll become disappointed with your lack of help and you'll be forced to restart the game from the beginning. Relying on a limited colour palette, the oversaturated and pixelated graphics add to the unsettling nature of the game, with the droning synth soundtrack working to further cement an overall feeling of dread. But it's within the unravelling of the protagonist's trauma that the player experiences true horror. It is evident from the beginning that the girl struggles with mental illness as she makes a 19th attempt to buy a bag of milk. Despite not being given an actual diagnosis for a condition, the protagonist displays a myriad of symptoms relating to mental illness, including social anxiety, obsessive compulsive urges, depression, hallucinations, and suicidal thoughts. Given that you as a player are seeing the world through her eyes, it forces you to confront her reality as you experience it alongside her. In breaking down the narrative, it becomes clear that the protagonist has more than one distinct voice, as if her personality is split. While talking to herself and narrating her actions, her thoughts get straight to the point of what she is feeling or experiencing, with no quotation marks in closing the text. Yet when she interacts with you, quotation marks are used and her tone changes to one of confusion and uncertainty, as if seeking your approval and guidance. But this is where things get really interesting. Throughout your interactions with the protagonist, you are given the opportunity to respond with information that has not yet been revealed in the game. One such example is when you inform the girl that she has been walking with one foot on the grass and the other on the asphalt. This is an action that is not seen or revealed at any point prior, nor is it the only time that such a revelation occurs, which begs the question, how is it that you know this information? You spend most of the game communicating with a girl through point and click text options until she asks you if she can speak to the reader. But if you haven't actually been the reader up until this point, then who have you been? This is where a third persona for the girl comes into play, where you are a subconscious, her inner self, her intrusive thoughts, her self-doubt and self-loathing. It is also the only way the player can know undisclosed details about the protagonist. Not only do you experience the horror of mental illness through the eyes of another, but it creates a dual persona for the player that places them directly into the mind of one who is inflicted. It is this meta-relationship between the game and the player that truly allows milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk to shine, making it an experience that will haunt you long after the game has ended.